I'm honored to be here today in, uh, in this role. When Troy Wainwright mentioned it to me uh, a while ago, and he asked if I'd be interested, I said, Troy, I would walk buck naked down the beltway to be there. <laughs> and uh, thankfully, um, I have a car and a stoop, and um, that worked out better for everybody. But I lean on my friend uh, John Brown when it comes to Maryland. The answer is yes, just tell me what the question is. What can I do? And so to be able to sit here and visit with this team is amazing. And if you're of a certain age and you grew up in this area as I did, we were really lucky as sports fans because you saw, they were the bullets back in the day. Uh, you saw them win a title. You saw they were then the Redskins win some titles. You've seen the Ravens win. You've seen the Caps win. You've seen the Orioles. You've seen the Nationals. We've seen people win titles. But nothing, and I don't want to speak for y'all, but nothing in my life meant more to me as a sports fan than the night these guys cut down the nets that night. As a, uh, as a show of hands, how many people were in Atlanta that night? Right? And the rest? If you were there in spirit, and if you weren't, you probably weren't born yet, because you would have been there in spirit, and you could have been. It was incredible, and um, it's great to be together here today again. As we get started, I want to... Um... Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support, Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and... Make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. It's not meant to be heavy, uh, quite the opposite. We're all here together, this team all back together, and we remember that night and we remember the memories. But today, I think it's important that we also take a second to remember the people that were with us then who aren't here anymore. And I know the team remembers Earl Van Duke, and I was watching the video of Virginia game, and man, those last couple minutes. Earl got that bucket made at 109, hole just exploded. And I know the team remembers him fondly, and we all do. I think of a man named Mark Perry, a legendary Turk, who I went and found in the Georgia Dome after you guys won. I tried to pick him up, which wasn't easy, because Mark was a sturdy guy. Uh, <laughs> and I think of uh, the Lyman family as well. And everyone here has folks that they shared that with, right? And they were your people, they were my people, they are our people. And uh, we remember them today. It's been 20 years. And what today I think is mostly about is an opportunity to ask you guys about what it means to have been part of a, of a forever team. And I know you guys spent a night together last night and the stories for each other aren't all stories that are meant to be shared in the room, but I hope that I, <laughs> those belong to you. But the ones you feel comfortable sharing with the room today, I would just ask you to feel free to grab the mic and chime in and share with us your memories. But Gary, I'd love for you just to share some thoughts first about this team and 20 years and what this weekend and what this day represents. Well, it's great to have everybody. You don't get this opportunity very often, everybody has responsibilities. These guys are in their early 40s now, thinking they're really old. <laughs> but uh, it's the greatest thing about coming back together is things don't change. You know, you, you, what happens in your life changes, things like that, but not the way it was as a team. You know, those things, and there, there are a lot of them, you have to be part of the team to appreciate that. That's, that was great for me last night to hear all that stuff again, just like it was 20 years ago. But here's the thing, if you look at this team, uh, we were very talented. I mean, we had, you know, as talented a team as I ever coached uh, at the time I coached, not just in Maryland. But we had that thing that changes teams and made teams special. We had that willingness Whatever our talent was, we were willing to give that to the team first. That talent wasn't about any player doing any more than anybody else. That talent was directed at winning games. And when you Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. 
If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. The Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. You know, it's, it takes everything. It, 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 it takes you people. It takes, uh, you know, former players, players that played for lefty. Everybody has to be together. And that's the future of Maryland basketball, too. We all have to be together. hiring a new coach. It has to be all the people coming back to the games. The student body has to be as good as any student body in the country. The administration has to be supportive just like they are and in Kansas and Duke and take places like that. And it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to be champions, but our goal has to be to be champions. It can't be to be good. You know, we're good. We're a good basketball program no matter what. So, the beauty, of the beauty of this man is that as competitive as he is, and everybody knew that, the, the emotions, his passion for Maryland are, are, are never hard to see. And this is something you and I spoke about the other night, Gary. When you came back here, when you came back here on the mile, there are a lot of people in this room that hell, we all love that, still do, right? But the fact that, that they didn't see you as some, you, know, you didn't you want to threat to his legacy, and nobody's, the next guy that's going to threat, no one's knocking you out of the Hall of Fame, right? I mean, the, just the, the, the passion to be, to reach across whatever your allegiance is, where you're, the allegiance you have is to the flag on your chest, right? Uh, I mean, this is about, it's bigger than any one person, but this is about us ha having, a, we have a program that the school should be very proud of, that we're, we're a national power in basketball, and that's not going to change, but we have to make sure it doesn't change because there's other people that emulate what you try to do. And so they, they have budgets nowadays that they didn't have 20 years ago and things like that. So we have to stay with it. You know, we, we have to do things. And it takes everybody. Like I said, it's not just having a great team. It's the fans, the student body. All those things are necessary if you want to continue to be successful. So we got we, we got to you know understand that. And whatever we can do, whatever you are, whether, whatever you're a former player, fan, booster, whatever, you can be positive about the basketball program, and that's what we all have to do.